What is going on everybody? I'm back again with another video and today I'm going to be doing something a little bit different. I'm going to be checking out an auto show in Javits Center. Today's not the first day, actually tomorrow's the first day, but today's the day that's especially for press and bloggers. And I have a good friend of mine that he knows I do my YouTube thing. He happens to work in this place and he said that there is a day for press and he could get me in if I wanted to. So I said, why not? You know, I've seen online like auto shows. Um, I don't really know much about auto shows. I know they got like new cars that come out and they just showcase it. And I guess you could do a test drive too. So it's in the Javits Center, which is ahead of me. And it's actually my first time in the Javits Center. I walked by it many times, but yeah, I guess I go in, I show my ID and I should get something to get in, but we'll figure it out. But I'm going to take you guys to see what's going on over there and what cars, what models they have. And maybe that's something you guys are into. So without further ado, join me. Got to tell you, the only thing I don't like about Javits Center is all the way at the end over here. It borders with the Hudson Yards, but now they got the 7 train that stops right here and you can walk all the way here. But it's like literally nowhere. But you got to view the Hudson River in New Jersey, but yeah. But this is it right here, the Beast. It's a massive structure of building. So not only I'm checking out an auto show, I'm also going to be checking out the convention center. So let's see how this works. Seems like they're going to build something over here. Little by little, they've been developing the area. Like all these buildings are brand new. This is like the district of Hudson Yards. There was literally nothing around here and then they got this. So it's cool that they build around. So that way, you know, you got things happening around the convention center. And when you attend a, an event, like over here, they do the Comic Con. So I guess, you know, people can hang out around the area. I already see the cars on the inside. So I know it's a massive building. So let's see what's going on. I'm inside the building. I actually got the badge over here. Wow, this is cool. <laughs> So this is a really massive building. See, they got like a lot going on over here. Like I say, this is my first time, so I don't know where to go. I guess I'll just start walking around here. New York Auto Show, so. I think I'm gonna walk straight to see what's happening. I guess I'll start over here. I see a lot of cars and a lot of them, they're cool. They got like nice rims. Like I say, I don't own a car anymore, especially when you live in New York. Depends where, but you really don't need a car, but. I guess we'll walk around. Maybe if you live somewhere else and you need a car, you can see part of your future model over here, of course. So let's check it out. Here we see one, and this one here looks pretty cool. That's a nice looking car. This is a uh, Toyota. I guess you could touch the screen over here. And I guess you can scan it. This is a Toyota Crown. Wow. You can even do a test drive and it's pretty futuristic. Like it comes with the rims and everything. Wow. It's like more over there. And then they got this over here. Wow. And they even serve like coffee if you want coffee or hot chocolate. Wow. There are tons of cars and then I see cars here that you can charge it. I'm not sure if all these cars are electric, but I know by the 2030s, I think they got to make the cars electric. I know it's in California. I don't know if they approve it here in New York, but because they're trying to change like the gas emissions throughout the air. But yeah, I guess if we go here, we'll check out and see what's going on. This is pretty lit. I like this. So I guess this area over here is a Toyota section. They got different kinds of sections, but I grew up in Puerto Rico and we really love our Toyota. So let's see what kinds of Toyotas they got. You know, it's all like some really modern. It advanced a lot. When I was young, I used to have a Toyota Terrasol, where that was a car by the 90s. They don't, they don't really make those cars anymore, but I guess we're going to cruise around. Then we're going to hit the Lexus area, and then we'll see what's happening over here. <coughs> this one I'm more familiar with. This is a... Uh, see, this is a... Uh, let me touch it. Uh, Tells you the model, you know, it is about $25,000. Corolla. So this is like a modern Corolla right here. Cute. I like, I like how it is, like the simplicity. And I don't know, all the Toyotas, there's a model that kind of sparked my curiosity. This one over here kind of resembles like another type of model. This is, uh, i never seen this. This is, can't even read it. I guess it's a Supra. Kind of looks a little bit like, you know, like a Corvette or something. Let me see on the inside. This is a manual driving. Touch the screen. 
But this is Supra, 2023, so this is pretty cool. I guess that's like another similar version. Then look at this one, this was really futuristic, wow. Wow, this is a Toyota. Let me see what model is this. Touchscreen, I guess the touchscreen is not working. This is a Prius, oh wow. I know the Prius used to be, I think it was an electric car or? This one was way better than the first Prius that I know. Yeah, this is a much updated uh, design. Pretty modern, pretty cool, wow. It's dope. The rims are nice. And this is a $36,000 car, so that's why you know the car market is pretty high right now. A nice looking car right here, gray. I'm used to this one, I got the lights on. I like the gray color, really nice, really beautiful. And the inside, let me see. It's cute. This is a standard, so. I heard that supposedly that the standards they save uh, more on gas. I don't, know, I don't know if that's accurate, but yeah. It's a Corolla, wow. I'm a fan of Corollas, and this one is a really, really nice looking Corolla. This is really, really lit. Really lit and a lot of nice models. Look at this, they even show you what's like underneath a truck. Wow. It's crazy, the people who design or build cars, all the stuff they gotta go through, you know, to build a reliable car or a truck like this one. This is just amazing. And this is just, wow, crazy. Especially, this is like, I guess, if you do like construction work, but anybody can use it. A huge, massive pickup truck. And they even got space in the back. Tundra, yeah. A new reverse in 2023, I believe. This is just massive, it keeps going and going. I guess I'll walk around to see what's happening over here. But yeah. This over here are the Lexus, which are a little bit more expensive. This car looks nice, I'm really curious to know the price of this one, sorry. This car starts at over 95,000. Wow, that is a lot of money. That's more than what I make a year of work. <laughs> Intense. But yeah, that is what happens when you get like brands like Lexus and stuff. This is like the Lexus section. As you guys know, I'm minimalistic, I'm simplicity, so I don't really show much around here. This is like the other set ram section for the pickup trucks if you're a fan of pickup trucks they got it right here but yeah pretty cool nice looking cars but i don't think i'm gonna have a <laughs> a let's just stand over here is the bmw section this is nice kind of looks semi like a cadillac or like a limousine so it's pretty nice And they got Genesis, which is also a high-end model of car. Wow. I guess this keeps going to Genesis. I haven't seen them much around, so let me just take a close-up look at some of these cars. I guess it's like a letter in the inside, and it has, I guess, a GPS and everything. So, you know, cars are supermodel. And then another thing that's really cool is a lot of cars, they have a back camera. When you park, especially if you're parking in a, in a tight space, it's pretty help, in a tight space, it's pretty helpful. Yeah, it's a nice looking truck. One thing I gotta be careful, because this is, you know, like a lot of press and photographers, so I gotta be careful I don't be video photobombing the people. But I'm having a blast. Look, I guess this is the area where you do your test drive. So there comes like one car. I guess a test. This is a Hyundai, wow. Look how much the Hyundai has changed. And they got a GoPro attached to it. So wow, that's awesome. Wow, that's dope. <laughs> and one thing, I'm a fan of Japanese cars and Korean cars. So we're gonna check that out in a bit. Look at this car, pretty modern. So let's go check out the Hyundai section. I'm really excited to see what models it came out with. So we're starting with this one. This one is pretty cool. Let me see what model is this. This is uh, 
Ionic or Ionic, I'm not sure, and it's 57425 Wow, <laughs> a little bit pricey. But it's a nice looking car, let me see, and the inside is beautiful. I think, not sure if it has like a sunroof or it just open like that, a glass so it can give like a little bit of reflection in the inside. I think I'm not sure, this is also like part of the same model but a different color. Yeah, it is. This one looks pretty cool, like this light gray color. Let me see the back park, it's just pretty modern. The rims are cool too. It seems like all of the cars are like literally the same, just the same model, just like a different type of color. Because you look at the color and you figure out what color do you like. Mostly gray colors. But then this one's really cool. Wow, look at this. This is futuristic right here. The lights. Everything. I'm just curious, are they electric? That's all I want to know. This really tells you. It might be. So I guess this is like the SUV uh, style of Unique. This is Unique or Ionic uh, 5. So it's pretty cool. So I want to check out like with this scanning system. So I'm going to try to scan it right here. See where does it take me to. It's taking a little bit forever, but yeah. There's the Wi-Fi down here. Sucks. So here it goes. Tells you the car. Your guide. It shows you a little bit of everything. The car and everything. Wow, this is pretty cool. Now with technology, I guess if I scroll down, what happens? Price. The colors. Yeah, this is pretty lit. I'm gonna lie, I feel like a little kid just walking around here looking at all these models and cars. I guess the Hyundai section keeps going over here. So I guess this all like all the prices of the cars, best cars, Hyundai, Santa Fe, so you know it's a good quality of car right here. And it keeps going, you see how they maintain it and they keep it pretty nice and clean. It's pretty nice. So let's walk a little bit around this area to see what's going on. It's cool to see a lot of people also like, you know, filming and doing their own thing. Wow. I tell you, this is the first for me. I've never been in an experience like this. So, you know, I appreciate a lot of my friends for hooking me up with this. That's a nice looking truck. It's nice and modern. Hello, how are you doing? This was nice too, it's a nice looking uh, pickup truck. Pretty compact, I'm not sure they take this up over here, so. But I like it. I like the design over here. It's pretty nice. I guess not sure if this are the cars you can just test drive them. Maybe. Maybe I'll figure it out later. But let's see, let's keep walking around here. They got more. I don't know what this is. KN? Might be like a new model. I've never seen it before. But they got the Honda. I know a lot of people, they love Honda. So let's check out the Hondas right there in the back. Actually, let's sneak over here. They got Jeeps. It's like everywhere you walk, there's some cool cars going on. There's all the Jeeps. This is my favorite color. So I kind of like this compact. Um, truck right here, this SUV, that's pretty cool. Wow, it's pretty nice. And you got this one over here. Then look at this one, whoop! This would be good, like, I don't know, going to the beach or in the summertime, you open up the space, bring your friends or maybe your family and, or maybe even for rough weathers, you know, it got the decent tires. It should be an issue, you know, it's pretty cool. And I guess they're coming electric too, I'm not sure. This over here might be for the charger, I guess. I guess they charge it with this. Like I say, this is a new for me, you know, looking at all of this. But yeah, it's pretty interesting. 
So now let's go check out the Hondas ahead of me. Hondas are really cool. Well, I almost fell. Hondas are really cool and they're like really nice looking cars. So let's see what's going on over here. Let's see, what do we got here with this one? This first model, this is uh, Honda HRV 5DR Sport. So this one, you still got to put gas in it, 27 miles. So it's actually pretty convenient in gas. It doesn't really spend as much gas. Then it's actually $29,150. So I guess it's still making models that need gas. This one, I've seen it before. This is a nice looking car. I guess this is the 2023 version. And we got more over here. We got the vans over there, you know. For the family, if you have a lot of people in your house, at least seven or eight people can fit in those vans. But yeah, I guess pretty standard, but I'm really curious to check out this one, the Kia, and I guess it's a Kia. I guess that's how they label it right now. So let's see what a Kia looked like. I saw the Kia as well. Look at this one. This one's kind of like a, <laughs> kind of looks like a toy, like the futuristic design and everything right here. So 2023, you can't even see it clearly. Nairo Turing. 48. Yeah, 48. The gas is really, uh, you know, it saves a lot in gas. Combined with the city, 48 miles per gas. And it costs what? A little over 33. It's actually 41 fast, so it's a little bit pricey, but yeah. Nice looking, it even has, I guess it has an award too. So it really has an award, so I guess it's a pretty good and reliable car. But it is one sparks my curiosity, just to design like how future it is. It's crazy how time flies, you know. Since I used to be driving since I was 16 back in the 90s, and now we're in 2023, and you see how much evolution has happened with the cars and all of that, so wow. Beautiful, right? I'm gonna go around. nice and it got more over here which is pretty pretty nice than this over here not sure if I'm allowed to touch it but just the way how it feels I don't know okay it just the way how it's designed looks pretty interesting and different but yeah a lot of cool stuff a lot of tons of models around here this is I guess it's one area I don't know if they got like more in other areas of the Javits Center so you know I always love exploring around, so I'm probably going to explore now the Javits Center <laughs> to see if they got uh, anything else happening around here. Is this area designed for 4 for 4 the way how they got the lights up set up. Pretty cool. And then they got some models over here showing what's going on. They got this over here, it's a nice model. This is pretty lit, pretty dope. Wow. It looks like it's in Wyoming, whatever they're, they're displaying in the screen. That's pretty cool. Oh yeah, pretty nice. They even got like a little bridge you can walk over. Some of this car has so you can mount your bike in the top. That's really cool. Wow. Look at this. <laughs> pretty interesting. I hope the bike doesn't fall down, but I guess not. So I guess instead of storing it in your bag, you can put it up here. I guess Subaru loves pets, so they got so you can bring your pets over here. So that's really cool. Wow, this keeps going, it keeps going. All the electric cars happening over here. And I'm not gonna lie, now I'm a little bit lost because I've been walking all over, so now I'm just trying to figure where can I walk. <laughs> I don't know where did I enter, but hey, that's the plan, you know. I don't mind a huge, massive place to be walking around. This is another section over here. This is all like probably one of the most expensive cars you're gonna see around here. And then it keeps going in this area over here. I'm not gonna explain everything because you already visualized what a modern car looks like, but yeah. Like I say, this is a first for me to be walking around an auto show and to be in the Javits Center, Convention Center here in New York. So it's really cool, and I imagine when Comic Con comes, it must be amazing. That would be like a good, a good time to come. I think that's in October to see all the people dress up, you know, with their outfits. 
even though I'm not really into the comic books and stuff like that, but just to see, you know, the people with their outfits and enjoying themselves, that must, that must be like an experience. So I'll probably figure it out. Maybe I'll come back. But so far, I like it over here, you know, pretty simple, pretty nice. And to see a lot of people doing their own thing, you know, networking and filming and all of this. That's really cool. This is actually the Chevrolet section. And the car that I used to have was a Chevrolet. But I've turned it back, so I'm really curious to see what models are making right now. This is a blazer. I'm gonna see if I can see the model that I used to have. I guess I gotta walk around here. I guess they even have like an area for you to charge your phones to. Look at this, this is a van. That's pretty interesting, like over here. Plug and charge. So I like how organized they are over here. Plug, charge, and chill. You can plug your phone over here, then you just chill and hang out. Wow, there's also some massive truck. Look how big this is. It looks like this type of truck that they will carry the president instead, but it will be like the black color. I like this one. It's kind of compact, blue color, but it looks pretty lit. It looks pretty like sporty too, so I think it's really cool. You got it in gray color and ooh, it sparks my curiosity. I don't know if this is, I guess this is like an, it's like an electric car. So I guess you just plug it over there and you charge it. That's really cool. And then this one kind of looks like one of the cars I used to have, the Chevy Cruze, but I'm not sure. It's all the way here at the end. I'm talking about Corvette here, they got one. Look at it. Pretty nice. It explains a little bit, but it doesn't tell you like the price of the car. It sparks my curiosity, but yeah. There's more models in the back. Let me see. Yeah, look at this one. Wow, this one's beautiful. So this is actually a Corvette right here, 2023 Corvette. There's an auto model over there, but somebody's filming, so I don't want to be interrupting their filming. It's pretty cool to see a lot of people that do their own thing, like content creators or filming and stuff. So not only I'm looking around, I see other people, how they film. So I think that's something that's pretty cool. We got more going on over here. Wow, this is really cool. Wow, look at this one. It has like the snow over here. With the sign. Wow. It's pretty nice. So I walk around the auto show and I show you What's around there? It's a pretty cool, you know, pretty interesting concept they have over here. I even see on the outside they got like an area where you can test drive. But yeah, this is really cool, you know. If you happen to be in New York City, check out some of the events they do here in the Javits Center. But yeah, I had a really good time, a good experience. And I want to thank my friend for letting me know about this and hooking me up. So that was the end of my video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for more. Be safe out there. Everybody, God bless y'all. And peace.